Yeah, buddy. <sighs> That's a good margarita. Happy Cinco de Drinko. Oh. What's going on, beautiful people? I'm the Grandmaster, and I also go by D-Ray, and I am your coach of the San Diego Snugglers, and this is an epic bout between us and the Happy Valley Hariyamas, coached by Mario B. Uh, as you can see, team builder time. We're gonna, we're gonna put the team builders before the battles. Why not? Let's just bunch them all together and see how we do. Uh, we'll try to make it pretty quick, but as you can also see, it's looking pretty HD. We uh, figured out uh, all the little settings to make sure that from here on out, the quality is top notch for you, the people, porque te amo mucho. I want to make sure that you guys are experiencing the absolute best. We're taking the time to make sure you guys enjoy yourself. So, if you guys are excited for this matchup, do me a massive favor and shadow claw that thumbs up button. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications, hit the bell button so you guys get notified every single time I post a new video. So, uh, like I said, <laughs> happy Cinco de Drinko. Mm. I'm Latino, don't worry. Today is Cinco de Mayo. Shout out to Mario B. Um, we have been trying to get this match scheduled out. There's just been some schedule conflicts. Unfortunately, Mario, uh, Mario got himself injured, but don't worry, he's okay. He's just been not feeling his best and that's completely fine. At the end of the day, this is Pokemon. Whenever he can play, I'm down to play. So, shout out to Mario B. I will leave a link down in the description below from what I have been interacting with him. He's a beautiful human being. Very nice guy. I love the man. So, this is going to be the Tim Builder, and then we'll move on to the battle. We're going to talk about what we're going to bring and why we're going to bring it. And, uh, yeah. Let's just hop right on into it. Below the mascot, as you can see, shout out to Mimikyu. The Happy Valley Hariyamas consists of a Dragapult, very good ghost and dragon type Pokemon. He's got <clears throat> a Darmanitan, hard hitting fire type. It's absolute, it's like an absolute truck with its sheer force boosted flare blitzes, U turn, superpowers, rock slides, things of that nature. I love me some Darmanitan. He's got a Vile Plume, very, very annoying grass and poison type Pokemon. Doesn't have access to Spore, but has access to the other powder moves like Poison Powder, Sleep Powder. Um, stun Spore, things like that. Uh, strength Sap is very annoying on this Pokemon, so that's something we do have to deal with. Uh, he has a Milotic, very good water and fairy type Pokemon. Hits like an absolute truck with its uh, choice specs. It uh, got Calm Mind and it also got um, Draining Kiss this generation, which is pretty good for this Pokemon, so something we have to watch out for. He has an Intimidating Spinner in Hitmon Top, very good fighting type Pokemon. Uh, it could be run with Technician. Intimidate, like we just said, uh, bullet punch, mock punch, close combat, things like that. Uh, he's got a very good horse. Shout out to Mudsdale. Mudsdale's a very, very thick, threatening ground type Pokemon. Uh, Mudsdale is <laughs> very annoying, man. With stamina, this thing, no matter if you just touch it, it just boosts its defense and then it gets access to body press. Come on, are you kidding me? That's absurd. So it's a very good stealth rocker. It's going to be very hard to take down. We'd have to prep for that. Those are the six Pokemon I do think that he does bring. His bench consists of a Rotom Heat. He's got two fire types. He has to bring one. I doubt that he brings both. I sincerely doubt he brings both. But uh, the Rotom Heat is very good with the Levitate ability. Gets access to Overheat as well as the Thunder, the Electric type coverage like Thunderbolt, Volt, Volt Switch, Defog. With Heavy Duty Boots, this Pokemon's actually really, really good. He has a uh, Durant, very threatening. I do think he may bring this because just from the sheer work that it does against my team. Uh, it gets access to Hustle, so <laughs> Iron Head's first impression, this thing got first impression this gen. Um, superpowers, this thing hits like an absolute truck. Uh, so we want to make sure that we prepare for that thing as well. Uh, he's got a Drapion. Uh, Drapion is a dark and a poison type Pokemon. He does bring it a lot with to set up T-Spikes, so that is a threat that we do have to think about. Although I don't think he brings it. If he does, he uses it for a check of Gengar, but he doesn't bring Toxic Spikes because Gengar is a grounded um, poison type, so we can soak those up as soon as we switch in, so we don't have to worry about that too much. He does His G-Max Pokemon is Gigantamax or Beetle. Uh, it does get to use an item, so a weakness policy set could be something that we may face. Uh, something like a Calm Mind, Iron Defense, uh, Stored Power set, which would be really, really annoying and really good. 
like so like a really good set is like I said calm mind iron defense recover stored power um, although uh, we do have a mandibuzz spoilers um, I don't think he brings that uh, yeah we have a mandibuzz now uh, Subat Subat's a very good <laughs> simple Pokemon uh, no pun intended. Uh, this Pokemon gets access to Simple, which basically doubles its boost every time it goes for it. So Calm Mind gets a plus two in special attack, plus two in Spideff. Nasty Plot is a plus four in special attack. Absolutely absurd. It can get really out of hand. So it's got two Psychic types, two um, two Psychic types, two Fire types. You got Spinner in the form of uh, Hitmontop. He does have Defoggers in his Rotom Heat and his uh, Swoobat. He has a Cleric in uh, my, I think that, uh, Marina gets heal bell and um, I believe that vile plume does get aromatherapy I could be wrong but those are his clerics his stealth rockers are mudsdale and um, actually only has one stealth rocker and then he has toxic spikes with his drapion so that's something to take note of so those are the big threats that we have to keep in mind um, he doesn't have a wisher no he doesn't have a wisher so that's good to know so the Pokemon that we decided to bring the first member of the team is going to be for Jason. Shout out to Rhydon. Uh, Rhydon is going to be coming this week with the Eevee Light, um, obviously, just to get the super bulk. Uh, Lightning Rod for the flex. The Eevee spread that we have is 100 in HP, 164 in attack, 68 in defense, 172 in speed def with 4 in speed. And then the moveset that we have is going to be Earthquake, Stone Edge, Avalanche, and Stealth Rock. So the idea behind our Rhydon here, because... With the EV spread that we have, it takes two hits from a Specs Dragapult, Shadow Ball, and Elko's with Avalanche, which is very good. Uh, it walls the Scarf, Flare Blitz, Darm, and takes three superpowers or two Earthquakes, and Elko's with uh, Earthquake. Absolutely absurd. Uh, it walls an offensive Rotom Heat and has a good chance to Oko with Stone Edge. The roll's in our favor, although we may have to worry about um, Will O Wisp, but if he doesn't bring Will O Wisp, then that would be a free switch in every single time. Uh, it does two hit KO Drapion with Earthquake, so I may be able to 1v1 that thing, although I don't want to be able to, I don't want to stay on it typically because of knockoff. We don't want to get our EV light knocked off, that could be really annoying. Uh, so that is our Rhydon, so shout out to Jason, Diet Tight. Um, the next Pokemon that we decided to bring is going to be Arya, aka our Celebi. Arya is going to be coming with a Life Orb, it's going to be a very, very hard hitter this week. This is one of our offensive threats. The EV spread is 252 in special attack with the modest nature, 116 in speed, and the rest in HP, which is 140. Uh, with the natural killer, natural cure ability, it's going to be clutch, especially with toxic spikes. If you, if you, whatever reason decides to bring it, we switch in, get toxic, and we switch out, we get healed up. So this is an awesome, 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 awesome Will O Wisp toxic status absorber because we could just get it right off as soon as we switch out. Um, the EV spread that we have, no, sorry, the moveset that we have is Psychic, Energy Ball, Healing Wish, and Recover. Psychic is there to be able to bop a lot of his team, so check this out. This is going to be our check to Mudsdale, Hitmontop, Vileplume, and Permarina. Uh, we switch into Mudsdale always, and Oko with, we Oko a max HP, no spideff invested Mudsdale with Energy Ball. Uh, it eats Earthquakes for days, and is able to switch in on Toxic like I talked about. Uh, outspeeds a Jolly Max Speed Hitmontop, and Oko's with Psychic. Uh, Energy Ball, Oko's non-bulk invested slash offensive Primarina. So that's going to be really, really good for us. Healing Wish is there for us to be able to bring new life to a Pokemon. Um, namely Rhydon, because Rhydon does a lot of work against his team. And then Recover is there for the longevity, because we're going to get chipped down a little bit because of the Life Orb. And um, so we can absorb hits, recover them off. Get chipped down with Life Orb, cover that off. That could be pretty clutch if we can force a switch. So, Arya is going to be super, super crucial this game. Uh, next one that we have is actually a brand new recruit. We made a couple different transactions, just like I talked about before. We did drop Bisharp and we dropped Noivern um, because we needed a, some more defensive backbone and uh, something to switch in more on fairy types and to switch in on reliable Ghost Stab because we do have a Gigantamax Gengar and we need to be able to switch in on Dark types a little bit better. Um, proven with the Groom Snarl last week, which was really, really annoying. So this Pokemon would have helped us out a lot, but unfortunately we didn't have it, which is fine. We have it now. We're bringing it for the first time, making its debut. We have Mandibuzz, AKA Four Star Fish. Uh, foul play, Brave Bird, U-Turn, and Roost is gonna be the moveset this week. We're running it with the Heavy Duty Boots because that move, that item is broken. We don't take any hazard damage from rocks. Um, we're running the Overcoat ability in case the Vile Plume wants to run any Stun Spore, Sleep Powder, or Poison Powder shenanigans. We are immune to those. And the EV spread that we have is 252 in HP, 68 in Defense, 188 in Spideff. Uh, I believe that this is the 
uh, careful nature, yes. So Mandibuzz is going to be the Dragapult and the Hitmon top check. This is a designated uh, bulky pivot with U-turn, so we can basically come in and take a hit and U-turn out, bring in our other threats. Um, we take a Specs Dragapult Shadow Ball and has a chance to Oko with Foul Play depending on his investment. Um, if he has no investment in his bulk, then we have a chance and it's in our favor to Oko with uh, Foul Play, especially after Rocks. Uh, two hit KOs Durant, uh, it two hit KOs Vileplume and hit him on top with Brave Bird. And Roos is there for longevity and to basically stall out the Gigantamax turns of War Beetle if he does decide to bring that. So that could be pretty clutch for us. This is here to take a hit, switch out, and deal with his hit him on top and his Dragapult if we absolutely need to. Um, we don't have Defog on it, which is fine. Not, not that big of a deal in my opinion, but because, um, like I said, he only has one rocker and that's in the Mudsdale and then we don't really worry too much about Toxic Spike, so that's the idea behind that. Uh, we do have Defog, I believe, in another one of our Pokemon. Do we? No, we don't. We don't have Defog this week. We have no removal. We want to force him to take off any uh, any hazards with his Rotom if he brings that, but we're not too scared of his hazards, to be honest with you. Not really this week. With the Heavy Duty Boots and with Rhydon, um, nah, not too much, not too much. So the next mod that we decided to bring is going to be Zero Aura, aka Roman. So Zero Aura is going to be showing up with the Plasma Fist, Knockoff, Fire Punch, and Protect. This is our answer to um, Durant. So we have Protect there to protect ourselves from our first impression, and we Oko it back with Fire Punch. I would anticipate if he brings it to come with Life Orb, so that would be pretty clutch for us. So um, Life Orb is very good against that Pokemon at Oko's. If he does have the Aka Berry, then we'll deal with it from there. Knockoff is there to do massive damage to the Dragapult, because we do outspeed Dragapult at one point. Plasma Fist is there for Stab. So like I said before, the EV spread is just very standard. 252 attack, 4 in defense, 252 in speed, Jolly Nature, so we can outspeed the Dragapult at one point always which is phenomenal for us. So we're gonna be running it with the Life Orb to do max damage possible. Max, max damage possible. Uh, the next mod that we decided to bring is gonna be for JJ. Shout out to John Jr. With the Kasib Berry this week, so we're able to eat a uh, Shadow Ball from the Dragapult and Oko it back, or if he has any other, you know, Ghost coverage from any of his other Pokemon, very, very good. Very easy set, just like we did with the Zero Aura. We're doing 252 HP, 252 speed, four and speed def, tip and nature. Again, this is to be able to outspeed the Durant. Uh, Shadow Ball is there for stabs. The Sludge Bomb is there for stab, and it does have a chance to be able to poison, a 30% chance, which is absolutely clutch. Psychic is there for the Hitmon top. Psychic is there for the Vile Plume, which could be pretty good. Uh, we do have to kind of work around the Dream Pound if that does, does if that does decide to come. Substitute, we do lose if we Gigantamax but it's going to be pretty good if we work with it before we actually have to Gigantamax because we do force a lot of switches. So the Gengar is going to be absolutely clutch. So shout out to John Jr. Last one of the team that we do have is going to be for Owen, a.k.a. our Selvalli. We have Surf, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Parting Shot. This is going to be our bulky pivot slash chipper. So Surf is there for the Mudsdale, Surf is there for the Darmanitan, and for the Rotom, although that we don't really want to take... Electrotech well, moves from it, which could be pretty unfortunate. I don't think he brings a Rotom, but we will see. Thunderbolt is there for the Primarina. Flamethrower is there for the Vile Plume and for the uh, Durant. So the the idea behind the Silvalli, uh, a two-hit KOs, max defense, max HP, Vile Plume, Flamethrower. Two-hit KOs, offensive, no bulk, Primarina with Thunderbolt. Two-hit KOs, non-spedef, max HP, uh, Mudsdale with Surf. Eats a Flare Blitz from Darm and Okos with Surf. Eats an Iron Headed from Durant and Okos with Flamethrower. So this can be pretty clutch, even if it's just to come in and pivot out to our bigger threats. Namely Zero Aura and our Gengar. So very, very good Pokemon this week. We are running it with the EV spread of 248 in HP, 36 in Defense, 36 in Spadef, 188, 188 in Special Attack, and the Modest Nature. Whew. Trying to get this done quick, guys. We're going to hop into the matchup. Um, so this is going to be the team that we're going to be bringing for our game. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And uh, we're going to hop right into the matchup. So I'm going to get connected with Mario B, and I will see you in one moment. <sighs> oh, yeah. All right, fam. We are in the dark, haunted, fun, powder, fun part of downtown San Diego. We are now in the battle. Everything is all set. Let's see what my opponent decided to bring. Whew! Check out the game, Jeter. So, what you got for me, fam? He brings the J-Max or Beetle. Okay, so I think we have... Oh! Okay, so we don't see the Vileplume. Vileplume is not here. Instead, we do see the Durant, so luckily we're able to handle that. 
he does not bring Darman a tent. Instead, he opts to bring the Rotom, which is a good play by him. So now we have to play Silvalle a little bit better. Uh, he doesn't bring Hitmon top. Instead, he brings the G-Max or Beetle. So he does have his G-Max Pokemon. So we don't we do see the Drapion as well. So he doesn't bring the Primarina. Wow. Um, a lot of stuff that I didn't think he was gonna bring. Um, the Drapion does kind of make sense because of the check to Gengar. But nonetheless, uh, this is gonna be an interesting matchup because um, really the only mons I got right were Dragapult and Mudsdale. So uh, our lead here. Uh, this is pretty tough now. I'm actually very surprised about his lead. I do think that he leads to the Drapion. And if he leads to the Drapion, what is our what is our our start here? Um, if he leads with Drapion, I kinda wanna release Silvalli, honestly. But if he leads with the the um, Rotom, that could be kind of an issue. So we're putting kind of a pickle here. Um, we're putting kind of a pickle here. So what I want to do is I'm gonna go to the with Silvalli just to predict the the switch into the um, or the lead of the Drapion, and then we will go from there. But everything's all set. Everything is looking HD. Mwah. Let's get it. Ooh, that's a cool card. Pow! He's ready. Let's get it. Here we go, guys. Snugglers, Hariyamas, IBL. Ding, ding, ding. Let's get it. All right, what you got for me, fam? So he brings a lot of the stuff that I didn't think he was gonna bring. So he brings the Orbital first. So he's gonna try to G-Max up and put in, give, give me the work. All right, so we have our Silvalli in against an Ore Beetle. Uh, he frisks, obviously, with a water memory. So his Ore Beetle's frisk, which is great. Best ability on an Ore Beetle. Now, if you're Dynamaxed up, we do some pretty good damage with Flamethrower still. Um, if you have Psychic, let's see, if you have Psychic, and if you're G-Max up, Max Mindstorm does not do that much to us. And we do a pretty good chunk with our Flamethrower. So what we could do is, let's go ahead and uh, Flamethrower up here. Let's do that. Let's fire off a Flamethrower. And see if he wants the G-Max. Um, if not, then we're going to hit something that's on the incoming. If he brings in Rotom Heat, I'm assuming it's because he believes that he can outspeed us. Therefore, we want to switch out of that. So he actually stays in and goes for an energy ball. This actually shouldn't be doing too much to us. We eat that. Awesome. Cool. So he's faster. So I'm assuming he's got some pretty good speed on this thing. Although we're not very speed invested. That is the two-hit KO. That is the two-hit KO. Um, a, so he has energy ball. Energy ball. All right, so let's count this. How much time do I have? 50 seconds. So, energy ball, let's see, that brought me down to 123. I totally just had my hotkeys just now. Enter. Hotkeys. Alright, we love hotkeys, right? Alright, we have 33 seconds. Alright, so, he... <sighs> energy ball did way more than 30%, so he's pretty offensively invested, honestly. So, I think that we're actually going to switch out here. And we're gonna switch out into star. Yeah, let's switch out into star. I think that's the best play optimally. If he wants the G Max up here and hit me with a max um, max grass move, so he does. So he's gonna try to hit us with the max grass move, which is gonna do 7.3 to. If he's not offensively invested, which I think he probably is, let's just say that he's got like 180 minutes in special attack. It does no more than 15, percent which is absolutely absurd. All right, so we're gonna bring in Mandibuzz. Shout out to Starfish. We love Star. Max Overgrowth. All right. That does pitiful damage. That's excellent. Does Orbital get access to Thunderbolt? Orbital the small gun. Do you get access to Thunderbolt, friend? If you don't, then what do you have to touch us, friend? Probably nothing. Uh, no, you do not get access to the Thunderbolt, but you can't hit us with the Bug Buzz, which I think that shouldn't be doing really too much, honestly. I do want to see what he wants to go for. Uh, foul play should actually be doing a pretty decent chunk. 24%. So I'm actually going to go for a foul play here. And I want to see what he wants to do. Is that the play here? Hmm. Uh, 
I'm gonna foul play. See what he wants to do. Max Flutterby, okay. So he's got Bug Buzz. Very offensive. Huh? Bug Buzz. So he does outspeed us. So we'll go for a Roost next turn. Hit him with the foul play. He's got some bulk on him. That is leftovers. Yep. So Or Beetle has lefties. And he's got Energy Ball. He's got Bug Buzz. And he's got uh, probably a Psychic move. So I think our play here is to go for a Roost. Go for a Roost. This is not a two-hit KO. Goes for Flutterbee. Hopefully we win that out. So 123 down to 53. Let's see if we get over 123. Special attack goes down. Doesn't matter. Go for a Roost. We're gonna stall out his turns. Which is awesome for us. Awesome for us. Oh, we net out so nicely. We net out so nicely. He is gonna get some leftovers recovery back. But oh look, we got the <laughs> We get the uh, the uh, the boosty from the terrain because we boosted. That's awesome. Uh, I think that now is the time where we go for a brave bird. Uh, what is your switching? I think that brave bird's a good play here. Uh, maybe he doesn't think we have it because we went for it first. So the idea was to go for foul play first to make him think we don't have brave bird. But he switches out. Just pre chip down. All right, that's a good play. Should have gone for foul play. All right, so what is our switch into this thing? All right, so let, let's see. Rotom Heat. Uh, Nasty Plot. Uh, let's see. That looks to be like 20%. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Level 50. Brave Bird. We did a little bit more. That seems to be pretty offensive. That seems to be pretty offensive, so we're going to switch out. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt, so I think that I may want to bring in Zero Aura. Or what we could do is we bring in Jason. If he goes for a Will-O-Wisp, then that is a phenomenal play by him. Uh, he doubles. Troy. Okay. He brings in this thing. That's an interesting play. What did you think I was going to bring in? Oh, you thought I was going to bring in Zero Aura? Probably. So right on. We have to kind of move a little bit faster because we're not really Mudsdale. Let's see. How much damage do you want to do to us, friend? You are not Dynamaxed. <laughs> Half. Alright, here's the thing, right? So we're gonna go for a stealth rock now. Avalanche? So he hits us first. Okay, that's pretty offensive. No offensive, that's actually pretty good damage for what I, what I see. We go for rocks. Uh, I do think that our Rhydon is pretty important here, right? Is it? Is it? What is our switch into this? Uh, I think we lose nothing into switching out here. Let's go ahead and bring in Arya. Uh, a good play would be for him to go for his rocks. But let's see what he wants to do. We're gonna go for rocks. I mean, we're gonna bring in uh, Arya to see if he goes for an earthquake. Heavy slam, interesting play. That is a decent chunk. What is your switch in energy ball? Um, I kinda wanna go for a recover and see what he wants to do. I really do. Let's do that. Let's go for a recover. We have a rock up, which is awesome. So let's write this down. Mudsdale. He has EQ. And he has heavy slam. Alright. Overheat is pretty free for him. Uh, I think we just bring back in Jason. Maybe he doesn't double out this time and he goes for a Volt Switch and we can wall him in. So he stays in. See if he goes for an Overheat. 
Let's see, let's see. Defog, okay, that's fine. We get a free hit off here. We get a very, very free hit off here. Uh, nothing stopping us from going for rocks again. Honestly. Let's see if he has Will O Wisp. So he has Defog on his Rotom. Rotom. So, um. Uh, did he take damage? No, he did. He took damage. So. That tells me that he's uh, probably not. He's not heavy duty boots. So he brings this thing back in. Mudsdale Avalanche is going to be doing 45 to 54 um, percent. I lose nothing in going right back into. Um, I lose nothing in going right back into Arya. I really don't. I don't lose anything at all. So Rotom has Defog. It's all that we've seen so far. And he keeps hard switching, so maybe either he doesn't have Volt Switch or he just doesn't want to get caught by Rhydon. But Rock's Chip is going to be great against this team. For the Orbeetle, it's going to be good against the Rotom. Just for another Heavy Slam. That is fine. Uh, I think I actually go for an Energy Ball here. Or we can go for a Psychic. If he brings in Drapion, that's fine. Uh, we want to get damage off onto the uh, Rotom coming in. So, I think that's a good play for us to make. If he brings in Drapion... Oh, he stays in. I should have gone for an energy ball. That does good damage, so that kills um, Spideffel. Okay. Stamina. Uh, so, we lose a little bit to Life Orb. He sees that we're Life Orb. He goes for a Heavy Slam. Okay. Um, now we recover. Really. I think recover is a pretty good play. Because that way we continue to be a switch into the Mudsdale. He's probably going to want to switch out here. Yep. Takes more rocks, ship. Hot box. So here comes the Rotom. There's absolutely nothing going right back into right on. So it's looking pretty good for us. we got to kind of chip away at his team little by little. Keep these rocks up as best we possibly can. So he didn't take he didn't take damage. So he is indeed. So the Rotom is the Rotom is boots, boots, boots with the fur, with the fur. The whole club is looking at her. All right. Oh, I got nickel back in my ear. Dropping 15 cars. The drugs come easy and the girls come cheap. We'll all stay skinny because we just won't eat and we'll. We're putting him in a kind of peculiar situation, right? So we want to, we've established the fact that we want to keep rocks up. He's, if, he's probably going to want to defog here. If he goes for a Volt Switch, that's best case scenario. If he goes for an Overheat, I should be able to eat this. Oh, he misses, I'm sorry, bro. That sucks. All right, so we can freely go for a Stone Edge. Like, freely go for a Stone Edge. Let's do that. So if he wants to stay in defog, how much do these rocks really mean to him? A lot. We kill this thing. Jason. Bro, I need you to hit this stone edge. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's get it. You're dead. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Alright. Right on. Kills. Rotom. Heat. Yes, sir. Here comes this thing. So, Rhydon is still going to be really good for what? <laughs> for the Drapion. Really, really good for the Drapion. We could actually kill this thing and be in a really good position. So, I'm actually going to go for an Avalanche and do so. Because we can live a hit. We can live a hit. So, it goes for a rest. So, we get free damage. Let's see if he's Chesto Berry. So, Mudzel has EQ, Heavy Slam. Question mark. Rest. Do you have... Alright, so that doesn't do too much damage if we don't get the boosty. So, we got a little bit of damage off on this thing, so now that's pretty good for us. Now, does he have Rust Talk? That's the idea to find out. So, we're going to go ahead and switch out into Baby Girl. He did get the Defog off. Uh, I don't really want to take the damage on Rhydon just yet. Because we still have an opportunity to avalanche kill him if he wants to stay in on this Mudsdale again. Uh, 
We do still want rocks up. That's pretty, it's a pretty high priority for us because it does chip away at the ore beetle. And if he has recover, that could be a thing because he's only shown us energy ball, bug buzz, blank. So let's see if he is rest talk. Sleep talk, he is. So he's got rest and he's got sleep. Gets heavy slime. Sweet. So the Rotom is gone, so nothing is stopping us really for going for an energy ball. So let's go for an energy ball and maybe we can knock this thing out. Let's see if he, he, he may be inclined to stay in to be able to burn another turn of sleep. If he stays in, he gives us this. Oh, all right. We gotta start kind of focusing in because I've been playing very recklessly in the IBL and uh, kind of dropping wins that could be, could be dropping wins that are for sure possible, right? Platinum Howler played absolutely phenomenal. There's some plays that we could have done a little bit better last time, but we'll see. Daenerys, that is the dragon All right, okay. Go for an energy ball. This is gonna do nothing. Oh, that does good damage. That is a not a very effective hit. This is a very offensive, a very offensive Dragapult. Wow, that's a very offensive Dragapult. That's some good damage right there. Okay, so we're going to bring back in our check, which is Starfish. So he does not have rocks. He does not have rocks, which is awesome. So he has EQ, Heavy Slam, Rest, and Sleep Talk on his Mudsdale. He's got U-Turn. Okay, that's fine. What do you bring in here? What am I afraid of with our, 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 our Mandibus here? Not really much, honestly. Maybe the the Durant. Pretty afraid of the Durant. Durant would be a good play. What do you bring in here? Iron Head does... Let's see. Mandibus. First impression does a, a, a fuck ton. First impression may be his play here. Kevin, there he is. We live this. Uh, foul play does a lot. I 55 to 65. So if he is jolly max speed with the life orb, he does 55 to 66, 65%. Um, let's see here. What what do we do? What do we do? What is our switch into this thing? Let's see if he has first impression. No. I need star for Dragapult. I really do. Or I could actually bring in Gengar. Ugh, what if this is kind of a pickle? Yeah, 20 seconds. Hmm. We're gonna roost. We're gonna roost. First impression, so he does have first impression. We eat. For breakfast, lunch, and motherfucking dinner. Durant has first impression. He's probably like, damn, this thing is fat. All right, um, I'm going to U-turn. I'm going to U-turn. Maybe he doesn't want to stay in. Iron Head is 49 to 50%. We live that. And if he misses, that would be unfortunate, but it'd be good for us. Bone Claws. Ooh, that's bad. All right, we bring in Zero Aura. We bring in Zero Aura now. All right, so we're going to U-turn. That was a good play. Yes, sir. No more focus sash if you have it. Mm, from, from that damage, I really don't think that he is... Uh, I really truly don't think that he is... Uh, Iron Head. I mean, he is a uh, Life Orb. So we're going to go for a Fire Punch because you do not want to play with this thing. At all. Like, at all. <laughs> the, the, the ant is a freaking threat, dude. The ant is a threat. So he withdraws. Uh, probably in the Dragapult. Troy. Okay, that's fine. Fire Punch does juicy damage. Alright. This Fire Punch does good damage. Alright. So he has to burn a turn here. So he sees that we're life orb. Alright, so zero or we need to keep around for the freaking Durant. I'm gonna bring in Arya. I'm bring in Arya. 
We're gonna need Arya around for the Mudsdale. So if he sleep talks here and gets a earthquake, that would be best case scenario. Best case scenario. Let's see what he gets. Earthquake. Awesome. 72 down to 38. 72 down to Alright. That is good damage right there. Uh, we need the longevity of our boy here, so we're going to go ahead and recover. Yes, sir. I think he wakes up here. I think he wakes up here. Yep. Okay. Uh, we recover again. We recover again. We wall this thing 100%. We want to make sure that our Celebi is uh, healthy for it to check this thing later. So he's going to withdraw. We knew that. So if he brings in the Duran Scorpio. Okay, that's fine. So in comes the Drapion. In comes the Drapion. Uh, knockoff is coming. Knockoff is coming. Knockoff is a coming. So Silvala so against a Drapion. So our play is to bring in our dedicated knockoff switch in, which is our 4 Owen. Shout out to OG Albina. Let's see here. It's a good game. Shout out to Mario B. Shout out to Mario B. Uh, a knockoff is going to be doing 21 to 25%, which is good damage, honestly. It really is good damage to our Cell Valley because we can't get our memory knocked off. At least I don't think you can. I don't think you can get your memory knocked off. So if he does 21 to 25%, then he is going to uh, be more defensive. Toxic Spice would be very surprising, honestly. It would, really, it would be super surprising. So he goes for Poison Jab. Poison Jab does 31% max. We eat that. For breakfast, lunch, and motherfucking dinner. Um, I think that now we can go for a parting shot. And let's go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe he switches. He withdraws. Awesome. So we're going to go for a parting shot. In comes Mega Mind. Sweet. Now we bring in um, Zero Aura. Do we bring Zero Aura? Hmm. Huh. I think that now is actually the time that we can bring in Gengar. Right? But, no, because the Drapion's still there. It doesn't have any damage off on it. So, we're going to bring in Roman. Do we know what the... Does the Muzzle have leftovers? I, didn't, I haven't checked. I never saw that. But, I think that now is the time we go for a knockoff. It's pretty free. So, we're going to go for a knockoff. Pretty free, pretty free, pretty free. So he withdraws, so we're going to knock off someone's item. Troy, that is the Mudsdale. Alright. Mudsdale. Which is very, very annoying. That's good damage right there. He is plus one now, so we're going to switch out, obviously. Rindleberry. That is good to know. That's awesome. So we're going to bring in our switching. Arya. Uh, is he going to know that? He knows that we bring in an Arya every single time. Do we make a play? Let's make a play. Maybe he doubles here. We've been switching into Arya every single time. Like, every single time this thing comes in. So right on would actually be a pretty good play. Let's get up rocks. Even if he goes for a rest, he goes for a rest. Okay, that's awesome. Alrighty. So, I kind of want to get in rocks because he's doing a lot of switching. Stealth rock. He has no way to get rid of them now, so I think we value them very much so to get chip on the Drapion, so we get free rocks. In comes the Mega Mine. Free rocks. Frisk. Duh. Duh. Uh, our play is to go into Mandibuzz. If he has U-turn, that is definitely a possibility, but we're going to go ahead and bring in Star. 
Stealth Rock is going to be really, really good for us to be able to get Chip on this thing, to get Chip literally on his entire team because he's doing a lot of switching. Sticky Web. Yay! That's actually really bad. That's actually really bad. He has got Sticky Web. Fudge. That's a good play by him. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. We're gonna use in here. He stays in. Free switch into something else. Oh boy. I don't think he comes in on rocks again. Oh, this is very, 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 very unfortunate. Gengar loses a lot of value here because of that. Sticky Webs is going to be pretty annoying to deal with. Hmm. 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 He still has the Drapion, which is actually really, really unfortunate, but we're going to go for the Max Ooze anyway. Get a plus one special attack boost. So he stays in. So we get another kill, which is great. So Gengar kills Orbeetle. We're gonna get a plus one special attack boost. So knockoff is a thing though. Knockoff, I think it may actually OCO us. Uh, we kind of lose value in our Gengar here. Psychic. Yeah, Drapion's gonna kill. That's unfortunate. Sticky webs. It's actually really huge for him. So down goes Gengar, which is very unfortunate. And then down goes the Orbeetle, which is very good. Uh that is really huge for him. That is gargantuan. I don't have defog. That isn't gargantuan for him. I mean, I have no other play. He's gonna kill me with knockoff. It is what it is. The sticky webs are up. That's fine. He draws kills. Okay, that's fine. Drapion kills. Dang, those sticky webs are really gonna make it tough for us. We have to play around him now. So he outspeeds with a lot of his team. So we're gonna bring in Jason. Right? Yes. Yes? No. Yes, no, maybe so. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the play. Yeah, we're bringing Owen. These sticky webs are very, very tough. These sticky webs are very, very tough. Hmm. Uh, I think we're going to go for a flamethrower for a burn chance in case the Durant wants to come in. He goes for a poison jab, so Surf would have been a better play. Uh, I don't think that... Oh. That's bulky boy. That's assault vest. That is assault vested right there. Drapion. Oh yeah, you are a salt vested a la madre, my friend. Damn. Uh, we die the next turn anyway, so we're gonna let this thing go down. Hmm. Okay. What is the play here? What is the play here? Uh, Brave Bird is a good play. I think we bring in Jason, honestly. It's free damage with Earthquake. Um, if he brings in the Mudsdale, that thing, he actually went for a rest, which could be a good play for him. Uh, 
Uh, I think we lose nothing in just attacking with what's in front of us, so we're gonna go for an Earthquake. If he brings in the Mudsdale, we do pretty good damage nonetheless. Troy, there it is. So this being Rest Sleep Talk is actually very annoying. Very, 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 very annoying. That does good damage, dude. That does really good damage. Okay. We are going to switch out into Arya here. Because why not? Arya is very important. Very, very, very important. Get Earthquake. Sleep Talk. Earthquake. Awesome. We just gotta attack what's in front of us, honestly. Just attack what's in front of you. Attack what's in front of you. Let's go for Energy Ball. Please stay in. Mario. I've switched out a lot. Oh, he withdraws. No reason not to. Scorpio. This Drapion is going to be kind of an issue. The more that we can get it to switch in and out would be best. So he takes more damage from the rocks, which is great. Uh, chip, 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 chip. That is going to be the name of the game. Chip, 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 chip damage. Alright, uh... Our play is going to start. Uh, Heavy Duty Boots is a very expendable item. So he's only shown us to have... So Drapion, right? Drapion, he's got knock, he's got poison, jab, okay. Alright. We roost. We roost. Keep this thing as healthy as humanly possible. Uh this Mendabuzz is actually going to prove to be really good against this entire team. If he boosts with Home Claws again, then. Huh. So we've shown that we can eat a first impression, right? Let's see. Mandibuzz against a Durant, which is not Life Orb. Probably Aquaberry. Durant. Uh, we are running out of time. Running out of time. So I am, I think, gonna go for a foul play here. I think I have to go for a foul play. Does Brave Bird do more? No, foul play does more. All right, we're gonna eat this first. Oh, it goes for an Iron Head this time. Don't flinch me. Awesome. That's good damage. Uh, what do we stack off here? We're gonna bring in Roman. See if he wants to go for an Iron Head again. So in comes the Zero Aura. Iron Head still does a lot of damage, which isn't for it. So if we are a minus one attack, minus one special. Oh, he still hits. We eat it. Cool. Um, what is our play here? Knockoff is not going to be doing very much, but. Nonetheless, I think I actually still want to go for a Fire Punch. There's no reason not to go for a Fire Punch. Don't bring in Troy. Okay, that's his thing. Okay. How much does the Heavy Slam do to Mandibles? Mud Stale. Um... Say you're just super bulky, like bulky AF, bulky LM Madre. Um, whoa, whoa, your time. Oh, I just lost the game. I did not, oh, guys. Oh, I have been not keeping track of the timer. GG's to Mario, I have, that's my fault. That is my fault 100% of the time. That is a really unfortunate way to lose. I feel like I have control of this game if I just move faster. Uh, <laughs> good game to Mario. I just realized with my time, um, I don't have, I can't, I can't do nothing. I just realized my time. GG's, man. 
GG's. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Alright, GG's to my man Mario. Uh, that was a very winnable game. That was a very good chess match. But uh, I just, I didn't move fast enough. It really comes down to, I did a lot of calcing. Uh, the sticky webs kind of put us from behind. Uh, so I believe that this washes my entire squad. So we're going to be, we're going to lose. Wow, we're going to lose 4-0. That's very unfortunate. Oh, that's so bad. All right, well, it is what it is. This is a lesson learned. This is actually the first time I've ever gone to timer. So, I mean, GG's to Mario. He played great. He brought he brought some good stuff. The sleep talk, uh, the sleep talk horse is actually really good. Um, I should have energy balled at a certain point so I could kill that, so that could be really good for us, but the sticky web really helped him out a lot. So um, that's going to be a loss for us, for the timer. It is what it is. That's just what we have to deal with this generation, so... I mean, there's a very, very winnable game. I feel like we could have had him, but it is what it is. GG's to you, my man Mario. He's a great human being. Please go down to the description below and check him out. Make sure you subscribe to him if you're not already. And uh, with that being said, we're just going to bounce back and think a lot faster next time. <laughs> have a great rest of your night. And above all else, be nice. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>